Well, this is uh, probably the most random place for a trail to end that I've seen yet. It's kind of in the middle of the forest. But it ends here because here is where it joins the Benton Mackay Trail, and the Benton Mackay Trail goes all the way up to Springer Mountain, which, if you don't know what Springer Mountain is, you don't know too much about the Appalachian Trail. That's where it starts. So I'm just going to follow the Benton to the Appalachian Trail, and then the Appalachian Trail to Katahdin. Welcome to the Benton Mackay. I'm already a pretty big fan of those blazes. And it looks like this trail is more recently maintained than my last one, the Pinhoti. So, that's pretty nice. I think it's only another 70 miles or about uh, 110 kilometers to the, top of, to the top of Springer Mountain, excuse me, and the start of the Appalachian Trail. The uphills on this trail are just a little bit steeper than the steepest uphills on the Pinhoti Trail, but the view is worth it. This is Flat Top Mountain. I don't think there are any mountains about as high or taller than this in my part of South Australia, so experiencing this is a pretty nice treat. You've got this uh, ruin over there. The views aren't the best through the trees, but I sort of already feel like I'm standing on top of the skyline of these mountains. Not sure how well you can see, but that's the world below me. I have never seen anything quite like this. It's like this whole place is an island in the sky. There is just nothing, like the haze is so incredibly thick, it just blends in with the horizon and the sky. So there's just nothing below us. It's just, it's, it's all fog, it's all haze. I did an 80 meter climb straight out of the bath this morning, which wasn't, it didn't really feel too fair. We have some uh, good mountain views again though. Hey dog. I've been hearing lots of woodpeckers, which have always been a pretty fun thing to hear. You don't have them in Australia. All these rural American houses are so open, but so closed off at the same time. Like you have a bunch of them and just basically in the middle of a field, like no fences or anything surrounding them. But uh, then they're really guarded, like, they don't even have fences, but often they have dogs running around basically trying to bite you or trying to chase you. And uh, then they might have, you know, keep off signs, stuff like that. They are very guarded about their property over here. But then it's almost like, why are you being so guarded when everyone can see your entire property? It's completely out of the open. You didn't plant any trees. You didn't build any fences. Right, time for lunch. Oh, this is sweet. That bit of private property was really nice. Sort of reminded me of the Great North Walk near Sydney. Back home. This is a very big steep hill. Well, it looks like I'm back in civilization after that mountain climb. Still a nice place though. The Benton has more road walking than I thought, but it's not really the kind of road walking I hate, so I don't really mind it. 
I was just thinking that I was getting a bit dehydrated and wasn't really sure where to get some good water. And just then, I met some trail angels who were just living on a cabin just off the road. And um, they invited me in and uh, got some pictures taken of me. It was good. In the entire States, I haven't been so tempted by a restaurant. But I just feel like I'm going to spend too much in there, so onward for camp. Got my tent set up. Got some uh, trail magic from a couple of people actually, so I have dinner sorted as well. And there are tons of hills ahead of me, so I've got to get a good night's sleep. So I checked the map this morning. And today's elevation profile looks like a zigzag. It's um, seven different mountains, I think. I'm just climbing the first one right now. The only silver lining to this, apart from possible views, which I haven't got yet, is that mountain number eight, first mountain tomorrow morning, is Springer Mountain. First summit reached. This uh, fire tower is a bit abandoned. The first steps were actually taken out, but that wasn't too much trouble for a rock climber. Nice views again. I'm having the best views I've had on the Benson so far. And welcome to summit number two. That's summit number five. And summit number six is looming ahead of me now. Well, we are close. Nice views back towards hill number five over there. I think I climbed most of the hills you see behind it too. In every video I see of the Benton Mackay Trail or the Eastern Continental Trail, I always see this one bridge. I have to admit, it's a pretty nice looking bridge. I think it's the biggest pedestrian bridge I've seen since the Keys. I'm surprised the phone didn't fall over when I was self-filming. This bridge sways a fair bit. Check this out though. Just finished climbing hill number seven and I'm headed to camp. It's been a long day. It's been a crazy day. I think about um, 9,000 feet of up. That's about 2,800 meters, but it's been a really fun day. I'm not sure it would be the hardest day I've ever done um, under 40 kilometers, but it's definitely up there. I do have time to go to another campsite, actually. I do have time to go maybe two or three more Ks, but to be honest, I don't really feel like it. Uh, the last few climbs were definitely harder than the first few. And that's not because they should have been harder. That's because I got tired. Here we go, nice campsite. I wonder who it was named for. Surely not the author. But I am staying here. Springer Mountain is pretty close. So for those who don't know, the um, Appalachian Trail starts at Springer Mountain and so does the Benton Bakai. The thing is though, that's not where those two trails meet. So the Appalachian and the Benton Mackay actually meet several times on their way up to Springer Mountain. And as a result, even though I'm about 15 kilometers from starting the Appalachian Trail, I am half a kilometer 
from actually starting to hike on the Appalachian Trail. So it's going to be really interesting to see, like, will I see people? How many people will I see? I probably will see people. I think about a hundred people start off at this time of year every day from Springer Mountain intending to hike the entire thing, which is insane. A lot of those people are apparently um, very inexperienced, like it's the first or second ever uh, hike that they've ever taken the entire Appalachian Trail. They just decided to do it. I think about 20% actually finished. It's going to be an interesting thing to see. Americans are crazy. <laughs> Found this off on the side trail. Not bad. Not bad. Look at that. I didn't realize how so incredibly hyped I was for this moment. The most iconic trail on the planet. And it's right there. It's literally right there. I'm just about to take my first footsteps. Yes. I'm not following the Appalachian Trail all the way to Springer. Just following it for about two kilometers still on the Benton McKay but that's an Appalachian Trail place I've made it this trail is extremely well defined I could drive a car through this in the far out comments I saw someone complaining about the lack of trailblazers here buddy if you need trailblazers on a trail like this you definitely shouldn't be here Back on the Benton, I would suggest that uh, about three or four of the half dozen people who passed me might have been through hikers. Not really sure. To be honest, I'm actually kind of happy to be leaving the Appalachian Trail because it's kind of strange to be walking it when I haven't actually properly started it yet. You may be asking, could I have just turned north on the AET and kept on going all the way to Canada? And the answer is yes, but it would suck to do 99% of the Appalachian Trail and not be able to say I finished it. I knew it was Mackay. Everyone's been saying McKay, but no, it's McGuy. Cool dude, I guess. Let me put it up. Oh, you gotta do it there. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. Here I am, summit of Springer Mountain. That's it. That's the start of the Appalachian Trail. I think it might uh, camp down there and actually seriously start this whole thing tomorrow. Started from there. Now I'm there. Nice long way to go. Finishing there. Great stuff. Welcome to the Springer Mountain Shelter. It's a good spot. There's a uh, bunk up there. So it's a double floor shelter, which is pretty good. I might actually take the top floor. 